Hello motion graphic designers. Uh, in this video, I will teach you how to use Duig Bessel to connect any two properties in After Effects. We can use this technique to create dependency between two properties so that they animate automatically, then keyframing it every time. Like here we are using the angle between the arm and forearm to control the flex or width of the bicep muscles. This is just one implication of doing Bessel Connector and while we go through the process, you will realize that it can be used for many, many scenarios. So let's jump in. Go to Duik panel and click on structures and then click on arm. This will create controllers for your arm. Just keep in mind that this is not the actual arm. These are just the controllers. You have to create shape layers and then map them to it. Now, uh, select all the controller layers and then again go back to the Duik panel and click on the constraint tab and then click on auto rig. As soon as this hand icon appears on your screen, you know that your arm is rigged and now it is moving as per inverse kinematics the way it should move. So let's create a bicep. I'm using ellipse shape to create a bicep. Let's rename the layer and map it to the arm controller so that uh, it sticks to the arm whenever the hand moves like this. See? So now we have to find a property that we can use to change the shape of this ellipse as the hand moves. The property that we can use here is the rotation property of the forearm. So this uh, property more or less uh, or pretty accurately represent the angle in between the arm and the forearm. So as you move your hand, you can see that this angle is changing and it's pretty much the angle in between the arm and the forearm. So this is the kind of property that we will be looking at. Once we know the property that we will be using to control the shape of the bicep, let's create two different keyframes for the two different shapes of the bicep. One for fully flexed arm and one for the completely relaxed arm. Go to the Duik panel and click on this small icon on the right of connector option. Then scroll down to forearm to select the rotation property which we are going to use and then click on pick property button to pick that property up. After that, give a minimum and maximum value to the rotation of the forearm which in between which you want your bicep to go from one extreme to another. Then select the property you just keyframed and click on this connect to properties button. As soon as you see this connector icon appearing on your screen, you know that you have connected the rotation property of the forearm to the scale property of the bicep. And when you move uh, the arm, uh, you can see that uh, the bicep is conveniently uh, moving in between the two keyframes as your forearm rotates in between 0 to 160 degree. In this example, we created two quantifiable properties. That is the scale of the uh, ellipse, that is the bicep, to the rotation property of the forearm. But just to show you the power of this tool, uh, in the next uh, example, I will connect a non-quantifiable property, that is the path property, to a quantifiable property, that is the rotation of the forearm. So for that purpose, I created this uh, forearm uh, using a pen tool so that we only have the path uh, and uh, now uh, we will keyframe this path to create the two extremes of the forearm one for the fully relaxed position and one for the fully stressed position so uh, once uh, you create the two keyframes and uh, you can see that you know the shape is changing in between these two keyframes uh, so now just select the path property and again click on the connect to properties button in the panel and now your forearm shape is connected so it is not connected to the skeleton so let me first map it to the arm so uh, now you should see okay uh, it should be actually connected to the forearm sorry so uh, once you connect it to the forearm now you can see that as you move your arm the forearm is also changing the shape and this time it's not the scale property it's not any quantifiable property but just the path property that is changing 
Now, uh, if you want to make the changes more visible, just go back to the path and click on this icon to disable the expression so that you can make changes to the keyframes. Go to the keyframe on the right and uh, just stretch it out to the extreme and again click back on this icon to enable the expression so that now when the arm moves, your forearm will change the shape between 0 to 160 degree according to the new keyframes rather than the old one. So this is a very handy tip if you want to change your shape in between. Do it connector can be used with rubber hose as well or with any rigging tool for that matter. All we have to do is figure out a property that varies with the two extreme positions of the arm. In case of rubber hose, that property is straight uh, under the math stuff. As you can see that this property varies from around 650 to around 230, 240. And this property can be very conveniently mapped to the path keyframes in the sh bicep shape layer. All you have to do is pick that property from the layer panel and click on the pick property icon in the doing vessel panel and then go to the path property of the bicep shape layer and connect it like we did before. So that is all for this tutorial. Uh, if you like this video, do hit the like button and share it with your fellow motion graphic designers. Also let me know in the comments if there is any topic you would like me to cover on motion graphics in After Effects.